Hello, I'm Red One. I'm going to show you the um, OSGI um, hot install of a new bundle uh, in the Idempier software, uh, free open source ERP, um, or I'll call it the F1 car that does not need a pit stop. Well, um, Mostly, uh, for non-OSGI applications, uh, when you want to add in a new feature, you have to stop it. You have to stop the application server, you have to add on the uh, new customization job, recompile and redeploy, and then restart the application server to get the new uh, feature uh, implemented, and even apply migration scripts. But for the new IDEMP you're running on with new features and functionality uh, based on the OSGI framework, you need not do any of that. And now I'm going to show you what I mean. I have a application server here. You can see the uh, OSGI stack uh, up to 196 plugins. And it uh, is running on the, a browser. And you can see that it does not have um, something which is from here, a remote site, which is a POS integration module which I want to install and I got the installer script here okay uh, here is the uh, installer script and before I run it before I I'm, 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 I'm going to run this script I'm going to show you that um, my application does not have this point of sale feature here it's missing and under the plugins too you can see that it's not there. So I, I'm going to run it now. I'm going to run this. All right. And once it's run, I'm going to show that uh, we will get it introduced into this stack without closing it or uh, shutting down the application server. So the server is always live. And now it's been installed. It take a while. It's fetching from the remote side here. You can see I highlighted it here and yeah it's completed and if you get back here you see it is just been done and if I were to get back to uh, the features yeah here it is the feature is there so um, let me copy the name of this jar because I'm going to now activate it in the uh, OSGI server yeah I am I'm going to install it uh, from where it is now, application, uh, item here, server, plugins, here. Uh, I may have done something wrong, let me see. Uh, what have I done wrong? Install. Let me do it. SS. Okay. Let me do that again. I must have done. Uh, the typo there. Eh? Okay. So. I must have got the typo earlier, I'm not sure what it is, but I've got it there, it's easy, it's quite robust. And I'm going to start it now, 209, and while it gets started, it has a two-pack mechanism in there, which automatically will um, introduce a metadata change to the menu. You see the menu does not have this metadata model, and it has been introduced. I assure you, so what I'm going to do is I'll just get it um, what I call role SS update to this uh, client and now I log back in and then the, you have a look here it is, alright the metadata is in and it can function, it will talk to the bundle and let me export out something. Uh, what I intend to do is to export out the two categories uh, to a um, 
Apache server, which outside actually is from Germany, uh, to eventually communicate with this uh, external point of sale. As you see, there is no tool category of products here. Uh, that was soon changed when I press the start and sending out to the internet to this active MQ server. Yes, it successfully did it. And now if I were to go back to my point of sale, I can do a synchronization with the server. Okay. Give it a second as it go out. Yes, it's successful, and then you can do your sale. You see that all your products is here, and so forth. Now, this is amazing because all we did was we hot deploy um, something while the server was running, and as you can see previously, there was no module here and was very quickly deployed. So um, this is very very fast is what I call an F1 car without the pit stop alright so uh, thank you very much for watching and um, this uh, effort is being sponsored by Sysnova from Bangladesh have a nice day